right, this is the book of Matthews, chapter 26, verse 41. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you just with a quick lesson. And uh, the topic is watch and pray. You know, it's important to watch, be vigilant, be circumspect. All right, take heed to the times in which we living in. I think about 2nd Edges 9, the Lord said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest parts of the times pass, then thou shalt know it, it is it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right? So being circumspect, vigilant, all right, um, standing upon the tower, you know? Seeing the vision, which is prophecy, looking forward and hastening unto the coming of the day of our Lord. You know, because the days are evil. So watch and pray. Pray, you know. Yahweh Shah said, pray without ceasing. You know, prayer is therapy. You know, prayer is medicine. You know, it's our medicine. We cry out to the Lord, you know, in supplication. You know, um, shit, you pray, you know, even praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh giving all thanks to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh uh, Another thing that come to mind is um, giving this thing all you got and and uh, giving it all your might. You know, um, yesterday I did a, a, what was it? Yeah, did a lesson. I had did a lesson, I remember um, saying in the lesson, I forgot what scripture I was reading, but, uh, you know, we give our body as a living sacrifice to the Lord, so, you know, we, uh, you know, we, I forgot what I said, Salakia, you know, bear with me, Salakia, but uh, anyway, let's just read the scripture again, this is Matthew chapter 26, verse 41, it says, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation man you know because you know you got demons man and especially in these times it's it's heavy you know these spirits jumping on uh, uh people you know jumping on people close to you you know they might jump on you you know you got this lust spirit you know or this uh lazy spirit whatever it may be you don't want to fall into temptation, you know, which temptation, you know, is being tempted. You know, we want to keep our eyes single and and stay focused, you know, stay focused on the prize. The prize is salvation, man. The prize is the kingdom. You know, we can easily get distracted in this wicked society, especially in things that you like to do or you want, you desire, you know. So it says that ye enter not into temptation. You know, hey, shit. Uh, when Esau rolled this um, this micro C hip out to the public, and when we start actually seeing jokers, you know, our neighbors and people who we you work with, you start seeing them and knowing that they got that micro C hip. You don't want to be tempted because you you know not having what everybody else have because obviously you know the way that this system is going to play play out all right is that if you don't have you're going to be without if you don't <clears throat> bow down to this devil and his mind control then you're going to be an outcast you know and these stupid two-thirds you jakes that go along to get along all right, that you know, worship the image of the beast, which is this system. They're gonna think that they're well off, you know, and they got benefit. You know, 
know, they're going to think that they're winning. But in fact, you're losing. All right? They're going to think that they're winning. But in fact, they're losing. Right? Just as well, you know, it's going to it's going to look as if we're losing, but in fact, we're going to be winning. All right? Because we're sticking to the script. So it's important to watch and pray. All right? So it says uh, that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So the spirit, you know, within us to serve Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is willing. You know, because in the back of your mind, you know, you know, you want to, you want to do what's right. All right, but then this sinful flesh we live in is weak, man. You know. You might be striving to go hard in the Lord, do more lessons, you know, whatever you got to do to improve yourself and whatever which angle or avenue that you need to improve yourself, you start getting on the ball, you know, start being more disciplined. And then all of a sudden you got, um, you got things thrown in your way to, you know, keep, keep you down or to distract you, you know, or be a burden. To be a burden unto you so so now you know it's it's you're, you're fighting tooth and nails <laughs> just to you know get a pace going you know for yourself to get a, a flowing current going for yourself but i say this in my humble you know humble opinion and little experience that, that i went through is that you got to keep fighting because you're going to get that consistency you're going to end up getting that flowing current, you know, and I mean balance, you know, balance with your life, you know, balance in your day, you know, but then again, man's going is of the Lord. How then can he find his own way? You can't will yourself, you know, with your own will, what you want to do. You got to roll with the punches. You got to roll with what your how about me? I was shy is putting before you, you know. It's, it's a praying is key, man, because when we're going through something, immediately the flesh is weak, so you want to get out of it. You want out, you know? But what we should want is the strength to get through it. All right? The strength to get through it. You know, you know what happens today, man, with, um, with Jake with these relationships that you have, a man and a woman, you know, you meet you a chick, whatever the case may be, you know, y'all kicking it, y'all, you know, y'all y'all got a lot of things in common, y'all, you know, together, could be a couple months, shit, a couple weeks, <laughs> you know, a year or two, whatever. As soon as things go bad, Jake, you know, they run, you know, and that don't solve the problem. You know, I'm just bringing this up for an example Because when you run from the problem You don't solve the problem You just ran from it But guess what Down the line that problem is going to come It's going to come back again In most cases all right? Because I'm thinking about these women right These women be having um, problems You know Self inflicted problems You know dysfunctional problems You know they haven't truly You know they're not honest with themselves So self-inflicted problems man you know they um they got trauma <laughs> from from how they were raised or the past relationships they've been in and uh these women to get into a relationship and they would you know they they, they would bring that to, to to the new guy you know and when that new guy can't deal with it you know let me say he cut you off or he tries to address it, you know. She runs. Oh, I'll fuck you then. You know, I don't, I don't care. You know, she 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 runs. You know, man, I don't know who you think you is. Who you talking to? <laughs> you know. And then guess what? She ran from the problem. She cut dude off. And now she with a new dude. And guess what? The problem come back again. Because she never solved the problem so you know i'm just bringing this up as an example because you know you can run from a problem 
but that doesn't solve the problem. So it's best to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for the strength to get through the problem, to solve the problem. And that gains, you know, you would gain wisdom and experience, man. You know, you, you, you would gain knowledge and understanding through it. You know, whatever it may be. So watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yes, the flesh is weak. You know, flesh is weak. So these things you got to know. This is how we fight in this truth. Remember, it's a spiritual war. You know, it's a fighting in your mind. You know, you're, you're, you're going against principalities, evilness in high places, man. What's that, Ephesians 6 and 10 on down? Put on the whole armor of Yahweh. By Shimmy Shai. Right? So let's move on. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And what's coming to pass? Prophecy. You know? You know I gotta go down a list of prophecies we should know, or you should know. You see what's going on in the world, man, through the current events. Everything is leading up, all right, to what is already written in the scriptures. That's prophecy because it was already foretold, all right? It was said already before it would happen. This is how you know a prophet. When he prophesies, he, speak the, he speaks the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahushad before the thing come to pass, all right? Before the thing come to pass. Not like Nate over there in IURC where he uh do damage control you know or he retract his 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 statements and his words just to fit prophecy they're not a prophet man he's a false prophet you know that whole shit he said on that show about Jacob's trouble and now he done changed the uh script you know that's wicked man ain't gonna basically tell us he's gonna call us morons because he said that at that time it wasn't Jacob's trouble. You're a liar. The brother got the video, man. You know, exposing you, man. You know, playing the brother's playing the, the same clip in which you said what you said, and you ain't say what you said when you did your reach your uh, you know, when you did your response calling us morons. You a liar. But anyway, you know, it says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. For your redemption draw of nine. Why we look, why would we lift up our heads? Because Yahweh Shai is coming from above. Alright? Yahweh Shai is coming from above. You know, you got another liar. Um, the one that fell out from one body in Dallas. That Israelite camp group. You know, that Israelite camp. He said that, you know, the chariots, uh, the angels don't ride in those vehicles and you know, what, what they call the so-called UFOs. Yahweh Shai didn't perform these miracles. He said, come on, man. Stop it, man. Stop it, man. Come on. I can, we, we can sit down together, man. You know, he's another liar. The Lord said to look up. Why are we looking up? Because why? Our redemption draw of nigh. When, you, when these prophecies come to pass, salvation is coming from above. Not beneath, man. All right? No man could save you. Only Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. So that means we have to do what? Put on the elect. We're hoping that we're part of the election. That number that the Lord is going to recover on this side. Being a part of the first resurrection with our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. You know, I like this picture here, right here. You know, almost first first glimpse of it. You think of some some you know Egypt shit or African shit, but. I think of the angels in war attire, man. You know, and and those pyramids in the back are the are the, are the ships. You know, that's what I see. All right. So anyway, it says, uh, verse twenty nine, and he spake to them in a parable, behold the fig tree, and all the trees. When they now uh, shoot forth, they shall they shall see and know of your own selves. That summit is now nigh at hand, right? So likewise, you, when you see these things come to pass, know 
ye that the kingdom of the most high is nigh at hand. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. So what is Yahweh Shai speaking about? Yahweh Shai is speaking about prophecy. He's comparing it to the weather. You know, if we see the leaves fall off the trees and the temperature starts to drop from outside, you know, you know that the seasons is changing. You can tell that, right? You know? Just as well as when the when 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 it's in season, you start to see the leaves grow back on the tree. You know, you start to get those warm temperatures, it starts to get hot. You can tell the seasons. You know, now you gotta go clothes shopping, you gotta put some of your your hoodies up, your your coats up, you know, and vice versa. When it's cold, you gotta start pulling that stuff out. You know? You can tell the seasons, but can you measure the time of the prophecies, man? Which is so important. It's most important. So let's read it again. It says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. And he spake to them in a parable, Behold the fig tree and all the trees. When they now shoot forth, you see and know of your own selves that summer is now nigh at hand. So likewise you, when you see these things come to pass, know you that the kingdom of the Most High is nigh at hand. So we know that the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is near. We know it, man. We're not guessing. We don't need Esau to teach us and tell us. No, all right, because he's not in the authority, man. All right? Matter of fact, he's profane. He's outside this temple, man. And the third temple was being built, which is the Lord's elect. All right? So we can, we know. We know what's going on. All right? You know, this is where your faith uh, kicks in. You got to have faith, man. You can't doubt. You got to have faith. That's why it's important to study and read the scriptures. Watch and pray. You know? Watch and pray. Stay occupied in this work. Be furring. Furring, you know, which is being on, on fire. Be be hot in this truth. Not lukewarm, as the scriptures say. The Lord say he if you lukewarm, he will splew thee out. You know? And this and this all deals with what? The the the, the main ingredient is faith. Faith, man. Because if if you got faith, you know. The Lord gave you the gift of faith. You're going to search and seek until you find. The Lord said, if you knock, he shall answer. So this means you're going to give diligence, man. You know, it's just in you, man. It's just going to be in you. Now, the, now the, the hard part is holding on. The hard part is riding the wave, enduring unto the end. Because the road is rough. You got ups, you got downs, you got merry-go-rounds, man. You know, that's the hard part. Holding on, riding the wave, enduring until the end. You know, because you go, you you got rough roads, man. This truth is not, it's not easy. You know, because you're in a wicked society. That's why the scriptures say. That's why I read off the scripture, uh, Matthew twenty six and forty one. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So anyway, let's get back. It says uh, Luke 21 and 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled, which is the prophecies. All right. That MOTB, which is the micro C hip. Okay. That's going to come to pass in the forehead and in the arm. All right, in the hand, okay? It's gonna come to pass because that's Bible prophecy whether, you know, certain Israelite groups believe it or not. A lot of these guys don't realize that, you know, there are, uh, the Lord did set up false prophets, man. You know, that's why it's important that if you're sincere and you truly believe and you have faith and you, you know, you're taking care, you, you, uh, 
if you uh, care deeply for the Lord's word and his ministry, you have compassion for his people, those of the hopeful elect, you have passion for this truth to continue to push, you've given your body as a living sacrifice to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you're going to search and seek the truth. And any lies or anything different from the truth, you're going to you're going to examine it because you have to figure out the truth. You're going to pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to give you the truth because you don't want to be partakers of lies. The Lord is a terrible power. When you read the scriptures, you realize that the Lord could be very terrible, man. The Lord can set you up to just be a false prophet. That's all he wants you for. You know? You an Israelite. Yeah, you chosen. But on this side, you're doing an evil work. The Lord set you up to do that. You know, that's scary as hell, man. The Lord could put a lying spirit on you when he wants. And he's justified because he's righteous in everything he does. Yes, he is. Okay? The Lord has his way. This is his will. All right? So that's why it's important to be humble, you know? So yeah, man, <laughs> right? Um, this is, um, where I was at? This is Luke 21 and 32. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And take heed to yourselves, least at any time your hearts being overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life and so that they come upon you unawares for as a snare shall it come on on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth right the whole earth it says watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's heaven, man. These are the words of our Lord Yahweh. He said, Watch ye therefore and pray always. You know, every day is a day to pray for forgiveness. So if you're saying, Oh, I didn't know what to pray for today, I don't know what I should pray for, then man, shit. The Lord ain't, ain't jacking you up enough, then man. <laughs> you know? Because every day we're praying for forgiveness, man. We're praying for something. All right? We're praying for the Lord to speed up the days for the Alexei. You know? We're, hey, we're, we're praying. We're, we're praising. You know? If we're not, you know, just praying and making our supplication to the Lord, we're praising the Lord. Always, man. The Lord is in all our thoughts, man. He's in our mouths, man. He, you know? His, 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 his name and his word is inside of us. All right. So it says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy. That's heavy because we all, you know, we teach you here, brothers at Great Millstone, you know, that you want to be found worthy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why it's important to stay humble. Stay humble, man. Do your work quietly. Play your position. Do your role, man. You know, in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Contribute. You know, show charity. Treat brothers righteously, man. Not like some of these ninjas that we, you know, man. How you, you know, thinking about this dude, you know, brothers is getting on. Uh, you know, this guy, man. That's terrible, man. I think his name is your call. Not actually, um, and you know, it's a spirit. I didn't never think to, um, to mention this because you know I don't know him but I did had uh, interaction with him when he came up to New York this was years ago you know I was a, a a part of the DTA camp we visit the apostles and you know they were there you know and that brother that but well, that, that dude that ninja was there and um you know and when um you know you know the camp was moving fast so apostles were saying you know wrap it up and um, when we went to wrap it up, you know, they was telling everybody, you know, get out of here, you know, go, go, don't stand, don't stand and talk. You know, Pastor Hall, you know, don't stand and talk. Y'all brothers, leave, get up and go, get out of here. You know, don't, don't, don't linger around. And so brothers was in a rush 
to uh you know shalom 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 you know and you know that's i think i had a fitted i had a fitted on at the time and uh i was very young and more young in the spirit this was years ago and uh when i went to dap him i was like hey shalom you know you know he was looking past me you know with this you know he didn't even give a smile or a brace you know it was just looking past me and i'm like what the hell and then he was like, your hat, your hat out. And I was like, oh, oh, you know, slack, yeah, yeah, I'll buy you And then and still he was, he didn't even say nothing. That was that. And I was like, what's up with this dude? This dude got pride, man. What the hell is wrong with him? Like, and I understand because of course you don't want to cover your head when we saying in a salute to our Lord. But, you know, that was like a little bit extra, you know, when everybody was in a rush. So, you know, that's just my little small account on the matter. And I sensed that years ago with him. But didn't think too much because, hey, you know, brothers are in the flesh. And all us brothers, we, we got to grow. You know, we grow out of our ninja ways, man. You know, so I didn't think nothing of it. Never thought he was a wicked man. But the things that are coming out, that it came out through the different camps, and brothers bringing it out. Uh, about this dude named your call man i see it man and then from the audio whoo you're gonna kill brothers want to shoot brothers with a shotgun that's crazy you know talk anyway i don't even know how i even got on on this but anyway um that's the point man you know you want to be humble you want to be stay humble in this truth man and hope that the lord finds your sacrifice worthy so let's read the scripture again i don't want to go into no rant you know but um it says verse 36 watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass so we want to be found we want to be accounted worthy to escape the peasants man the plagues you know the uh the uh mandatory micro c hit man the uh thermonuclear destruction we want to be accounted worthy to escape these things you know you hit let me read it again watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and it says and to stand before the son of man which is your shot man i think the script is a precept we come uh boldly to the throne of grace if i'm if i'm saying that right i forgot the precept but we come boldly to the throne of the most high or the throne of grace or something like that if brothers know that scripture leave it in the comment all right, because you're supposed to have confidence, man. A righteous man, he's going to come boldly with his head up because he's about the truth. He don't have anything to hide. You know, he has righteous deeds, not wicked deeds. See, when somebody got wicked deeds, they, you know, they don't want to look you in the eye too long. They know they're keeping secrets. They did wicked things. They might have their head down, you know. But when you about the truth, you stand firm, straight up. You know, so we want to come to Yahweh Shai, knowing we gave it gave it our all. You know, in hopes that the Lord find it worthy. That's so important, man. You always know, got to bring it up. It's, it's this is this is this is the condition, man. You know, condition of the battle. You know, fighting off the flesh, the war of the spirit and the flesh. Spirit versus flesh, man. In your mind, fighting against evilness in high places, principalities, man. You know, sticking to the script. So anyway, it's the book of Matthew, chapter twenty-four, verse forty-two. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord do come. But know this: that if the good man of the house had known, and what watch the thief would come, he would have watched. And would not have suffered his house to be broken up therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as you think 
not the son of man cometh, so uh, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Blessed is, this, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in the day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Man. So the Lord said, watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord do come. And we don't know the set day and time of our Lord. You know, we don't know the day and hour, the minute that he going to appear with the angels, man. We don't know. All right. So that's why you got to, you got to, you know, stick to the script, you know, stick to the script, man. Be humble. It says, but know this. That it is the good man of the house But know this That if the good man of the house had known And would watch the thief would come He would have watched and would not have Suffered his house to be broken up And that's Yahawashai Because Yahawashai is coming like a thief This is why Yahawashai is saying this Because he's, he's coming back like a thief You don't know What hour and day and minute He's coming When these prophecies are fulfilled In the Lord's will Yahawashai is coming. And we know we're near. Our redemption draweth nigh. So yes, we're looking up. And that and that's that's <laughs> hey, we're looking up. The world is looking up. Because guess what? The Lord is showing more sightings of his chariots. The angels that ride in those vehicles. This is why E had to come out. Alright, and tell the truth. Or he ain't tell the truth completely. But he had to speak on a matter of what they call UFOs or UAP, that they do exist. Now, we identify them according to the scriptures. We know what they are. But this devil would tell you, because he wants to control the narrative, that there's some type of aliens from another race or another another earth, uh, another uh, uh, galaxy or whatever, you know. And it looks like he's not sure yet what he wants to do. Or maybe it's just a stall in his plan until that card is being played. Because he ain't right out tell you if they was a threat to the world, you know. He had a couple of guys, whistleblowers, and they're saying it's a threat because of the ability and the power of what they can do. But this devil ain't yet established to everyone and pushed the narrative that, you know, they are a threat. You know, so we still waiting for that card to be uh, played by these devils because they think they're going to control the narrative. But who's co who's controlling it? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because the truth is Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to crack those clouds, man. And he's going to come like a thief. Right. Like a thief in the night. So it says, therefore, be also ready. For in such an hour as you think not the son of man come, right? Because why? The scriptures say they shall seek peace and there shall be none. You're going to think that everything is in good case. Okay, everything is good. Everything is good. No, it's not. All right? Especially these devils, man. The Lord say he shall rain upon them while he's eating. So when this devil starts to microchip, all right, and force this micro C hip, Upon the people all around the world He's eating man And in the midst of his eating And establishing his government For his, his 2030 agenda You know The image of the beast, the system In the midst of it As he's eating and cheering Grubbing You know The Lord's going to rain upon his parade man But guess what You don't know the minute, the hour, nor the day but the Lord sent the men out to prophesy and to tell you these things, man. All right? Because why? The Lord 
wants to show his power, man. Hey, it's a beautiful thing, man, to be called in this truth and to do the work in the Most High. As a man of the Lord, a prophet, a seer, a teacher. Because the Lord not only going to receive his glory, but you're going to also receive glory by doing his good work. The Lord is going to let it be known, okay, to the world that we are his chosen people. All right? And starting with the elect, he's going to glorify them when Yahweh shall receive his glory, man. He's going to set crowns upon their heads, man. For the men that, that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And if you're a part of that, man, whoo, you know, who, who don't want to be a part of that? Anyway, let me continue. <laughs> um, it says, um, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord have made? ruler over his household to give them meat in due season blesses that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing see verily i say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods meaning the whole entire earth and not just the earth all right but the different planets and the galaxy man how was i said in my father's house is many mansions man so we got different planets to, to tend to Earth is just the first thing we're going to conquer, man, and have rule over, you know? Then the, the Heavenly Father is going to open us up to everything else in his house. No eye, no ear have heard. Woo, man, that's, that's, man. <laughs> man, it says, um, Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods, but, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My, so, my Lord delayeth his coming, now you got those men, that say the Lord delayeth his coming and shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. These guys fall out and they start coming against the church, you know, the ministry, you know, they want to bring guys with them. They start talking shit about brothers when you when you was uh, a part of brothers at one point. Now you a fallout boy and now you talking shit, right? It says the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of so the lord gonna get you in your security i believe that's uh Sirach, the fifth chapter you know the lord will get you in your security make no terror and turn to the lord yep i believe it's Sirach, the fifth chapter it says the lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him and in an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites right because everyone receives a reward all right you're going to be judged in the flesh according to uh what you've done whether good or bad so everyone receives a reward so the wicked right the, the fallout boys that fell out of this thing and that smite their fellow servants come against the ministry Right? The Lord talking about you men. Right? You you do brothers wrong. You know? <sighs> Tell brothers you're going to kill them. You know? All because you fell out. You know? You didn't want to take correction. You know? Or you didn't hold hold on to your lot to do the will of the Father. To do the will of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? For whatever reason, man. You dudes, man. Right? And shall cut him asunder and appoint him with the portion, with his portion, with the hypocrites. Because you're a hypocrite, man. You know? It says, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You know, you're going to... You know? <laughs> hey, that's it, man. You know, I was just kind of uh, taking my time, you know, uh... So, hey, Lord willing, I hope you were edified. The message in this lesson is uh, watch and pray. You know, watch and pray. And 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 um, most importantly, what we read was um, Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man yeah you know so watch and pray 
all right? That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. You know, we want the uh, spirit or we want the mark that's written in Ezekiel 9, 4 through 6, which that Hebrew word there for mark is the Y, which the Y means exempt from judgment. You know, so put on the elect, man. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kodash, double honors to my apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.